Okay guys, time for another stressful day at Canada Post. Uh, so, uh, I tried to call 911. This is non-emergency, which makes sense. That was, wasn't true, to be honest. But we're gonna call. I just can't record it. See what happens. Well, I uh, I gave my, I don't know if I, what I can show you guys. I don't want to show you my ID because I don't know if I get in trouble for that or something. But I gave someone my ID and the packing slip and uh, just because they were walking by, I figured I'd ask people and see if they were going to give me a hard time if someone happened to come by. And uh, I did call the RCMP and they, um, I told them the person was waiting inside, so I was going to see what happens, and, uh, uh, I guess they want to give me a hard time, so I guess I gotta call the RCMP back and see what happens. Anyway, we'll be back in two seconds again. No one is allowed to pick up my mail. They're stealing my mail from me. Mail theft is a federal crime. Constable Khan, sir, I'm okay. asking if you mm -hmm. could please I get my mail to, from I, me. I spoke to them already. Remember yesterday, but I had a lengthy conversation with them. If you're I not know, going to cooperate right now, I'm, not... I'm going to have to arrest you. Arrest me for what? Arrest you for causing a disturbance right now. Sure. Okay, you can you're do trespassing that. because they had a notice saying yesterday but I'm not that on the property you're not allowed to be on the property you're on their property right now this is public property this okay, is not their property, property so I need you to leave them because they're going to continue to call us what I called you and then they called us too no I called you well you called us and they called us too no I called you guys because they're stealing my mail okay. and they're not letting anyone else pick it up okay. you said yesterday I need someone else to pick up my mail they're refusing to let anyone okay. pick up my mail stay here I'm going to talk to them again. if you need this you can take it this is illegal. This isn't right. Yeah, but you can go through the... Uh, no, no, they're not letting me do anything. I know, but you can go through the... Uh, there's a postal agent, right? What? You can go through the postal agent, the head of the post office. That's her. There, no, there's way higher. You just have to they call. told me to talk to her. They told you to come here? Yeah. And you told them that you're not allowed to anymore? Yeah, they don't know what you're talking about. Huh? They don't know what you guys are talking about. Corporate has no idea. This is a private thing. This is a personal attack. This is personal harassment. And it's illegal. And you guys shouldn't be threatening me. I know you didn't. But he shouldn't be threatening me. And I'm perfectly willing to sign for anybody who comes by. Anybody who's willing to pick up my mail, I'm willing to sign any documents they want. What about your mom, like I said before? My mom is working, and I still need to pick up my mail. And if I move anywhere in the Garibaldi area, it goes to this post office. Okay. She cannot pick it up for, for the eternity of the time I live in this area. It okay. doesn't make sense. I just spoke to them. They said that your mom is still allowed to come. My mom is mail. not available. Okay, your mom's not available right now, but she might be available tomorrow because this is open six days. I need, you need someone to, pick up to mail be able to. Every single day. Yes. Okay. All right, and you just ask other people to pick up the mail for you. That's exactly yeah, I can, what they told me. I, I, you are not I allowed to do that. Okay, but they other have, people are not allowed to okay, pick up your mail but for you. I just had someone with my ID okay. and this You're go in. To, you are not allowed to do that. They have to let someone pick up my mail. It's not going to be the public people of the public. It's going to have to be your own mom. They have to let me sign off to somebody. They have to let me let somebody pick up my mail. Someone and has to be able to pick and, up and my they mail. Said that it's only going to She's be your not mom. available. Okay. Someone has to be able to pick up my you're mail. Not I have to be able you're, to pick you're up. You're not going to cooperate, sir. You're not cooperating. I am cooperating. You need to listen to. You're me. not following the law. Okay. What you're, you're doing is illegal. Now. Okay. You're under arrest for causing a disturbance. Put that down. I'm being. I'm going to keep this going as yep. long as I can. What do you mean I'm not? Okay. Give me the phone.
is just some basic. Start playing with their keys to harass me again. <sighs> <coughs> Last time they treated me super, super inhumane, and uh, I was respectful of them. And we're gonna see if they do the same thing. I just got trespassed for being on a sidewalk, y'all. Hopefully he just lets me sign that. I'll sign it. I can sign that. You can pick it up for me. I don't care. I've, I'll sign it. Anyone can pick up my mail for me at this point. I don't like being arrested. Just let me sign it. Oh, there he goes. He's playing with the keys again. Do you understand? Yeah. You know you guys are doing us wrong, right? Do you understand that? Yeah. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, let me just read you your rights, okay? I just wanted to also conversate with you. You can read me my rights. So it is my duty to inform you that you have the right to retain and instruct counsel in private without delay. You may call any lawyer you want. There is a telephone hour and telephone service available which provides a legal aid duty lawyer who can give you legal advice in private. This advice is given without charge and the lawyer can explain the legal aid plan to you. If you wish to contact a legal aid duty lawyer, I can provide you with a telephone number. Do you understand? Yep. Okay, do you want to call a lawyer? Mm, I don't really think so. Okay. I'd rather find a good one than use some crappy legal aid, just to be fair. to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yep. <laughs> so, you treated me like a criminal. Eh? That's funny. That's funny. For being on the sidewalk, remember? Well, I didn't go inside, like you asked me, that's for sure. Yep. So I was just on the public sidewalk. Outside.
So why, why couldn't anyone else pick up my mail? Like, why couldn't they give a paper for me to sign for someone else to pick it up? Like, why was that not allowed? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? Like, I would have signed it for you. And I gave my ID away, too. I was actually willing to sign and give my ID to anybody who was willing to help because of the situation is so stressful and, and dire for me. And it affects my livelihood so heavily. It just may be if you had a personal opinion, if you don't want to get legal. I'm just wondering why they won't let anyone else pick up my mail for me. I thought that was like a service that all citizens were supposed to have access to. I thought it was a right. Already spent your multiple times, right? But you. Am I gonna keep repeating myself? I know, but why can't someone else pick it up? I thought I did everything you asked. I tried to get someone else to pick it up, and I didn't go inside, just like you asked. Just like you asked yesterday. I didn't go inside. I brought the slip. I brought my ID. I said I was willing to sign. I asked, I asked other people. I did everything you guys asked. And you guys still arrested me for being outside. I didn't even know I was breaking the law. And then you just got mad. And once your emotions were high, you arrested me for being outside because you didn't like where I was outside. Right? I don't think what you guys are doing is very lawful even, let, let alone legal. But I don't think what they're doing is legal either, but that's debatable. But what you guys are doing, I don't think is right at all. You don't have to say anything. asking you that you are not allowed to go to this property okay okay so i cannot enter the property this is provincial this is criminal this is criminal this is separate this is now what does criminal mean so if you get convicted it's a criminal code offense is that you're federal because what's the difference between criminal anymore. your travels restricted job opportunities might be limited there's a cascade effect of having a criminal so record, right? what is it like a federal crime or something is that what this is it is okay every criminal but what's this says, what's this that you gave me this is provincial yeah so this is if you read at the top well, who printed trespass, this? Trespass, trespass to property act that's a british Columbia. so who printed list. this so canada post corporation canada, is at the yeah. bottom right there but who the, printed those it? are the ones that canada post, canada post. It and issued it to you but who printed it i how do I, I don't know. know. Who so it? who actually made Canada this? Canada Post made it. Canada Post made it. They own the yeah, property. No, 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 no. They banned you. No. I can, we really cannot. Who is Canada Post? Clear. Because the corporate, the corporation, it's not a corporate letter. It clearly isn't. It it's clearly says, it literally says, says Canada, Canada Post, Post corporation. corporation. Do you guys know how a printer works, or how a type, it or how a keyboard from works? The, this, the Canada Post office. We literally they got it from their It office. came from a lady who works there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah look exactly. Who it. Look who signed it. I don't Listen, know who so that is. Josh, Josh, who is that? Josh, you have to that's, understand. Okay, no, 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 no. There. Okay. Look closely. How about you guys look? Instead yeah, of telling I, me to look. I, I already so look yeah. look you, at it again. Right? Local area manager. Of does that say, does that say corporate manager or CEO? Does that Wait, say? Josh. Did Canada Post sign this? Go to court and abide by the conditions. Or you get I will you sign this because I'm being forced, but I don't understand what they're telling me to do. And what they're saying is different from what they have printed. So they're not giving me any clear info, okay. but I will sign it for you. Right. Fine. This is what it's like in Canada, okay. you guys. Right. They're thugs. 
They don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, literally, they won't tell me. You've explained it to you, yeah. Not well. Report. Not well. Yeah. Not well. And I disagree with it. Uh, it's a misdemeanor. You gave me a misdemeanor for being outside. <laughs> There's no such thing as misdemeanor in Canada. Uh, I don't know what it is. Issue. That's what I'm saying. You guys are trying to get I me to sign it. something. What's it again? There's a violation ticket under the provincial legislation. This is a criminal court document. So what am I signing? So we're recommending the charge of mischief because you're loitering outside the post office, which you've been banned from. What is cons so what? How, what? Going to what? You're going to, it's going to be heard before a judge. What is the definition of loitering? That's what I'm saying, guys. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to be totally clear. Right, not go to the post office. Totally fine. Just going to be. To I don't know what that means, but I read that. And it says, "Do not enter." I didn't. Yeah. I didn't enter. I got a copy of it. I didn't enter, and I won't do it because you guys have already told me not to. But I don't understand what you guys are telling me to do today. To do what it show. seems like today is Constable Khan has retaliated, and he's been upset, and he's retaliated against me for being outside, uh, even though he didn't. He didn't want to deal with us today. Is what I think happened. What happened is he didn't want to deal with it today, so he arrested me. I didn't go inside the property. This is how the police deal with people who break the law, Josh. No, it's not. This is how the police it's deal with over. not... This is how the police get away with not upholding the law, okay. is because they take the easy way, right. instead of actually doing their job. Which is why I have to do this. Which is why the citizens, which is why the public actually have to hold you accountable, because you guys don't do it. Right? I hold myself accountable every day. I hope but just not to the law. Yeah. Just maybe to whatever personal okay. obligations, like feeding your family, which I respect. Right. But not to the law. You don't uphold the law. Okay. We're also giving you a t t uh, ticket for trespassing. Cool. Okay. I don't understand right. why I'm getting this, and right. I'm not going to sign well, this, that's for sure. You're going to have to read this, and you'll figure it out while you're getting it. Okay. It says, Josh Harrison is hereby prohibited from entering upon the premises. Yes. Did I, did I enter the in there? Yes, you were. Did I enter in there? No. Did you I were there yesterday, weren't you? And you came there again. But did I enter? It doesn't matter. You're getting the ticket. You can dispute it. So no, it I didn't walking. enter. You can dispute the so, ticket again. But did I court. enter? Did I enter the property? Go to the court. So okay. you're giving me a ticket for not I'm entering the property. I'm but just, giving you a ticket and it's just, up to you to dispute it. Just to it, clarify, just yeah. to clarify, I didn't enter the property. Okay. Go. You, you, you Do you agree that I didn't enter the property? I'm not going to say anything. You, you're, so you're happy to dispute it? So you're after happy, you arrested me, did you guys take you me are, into the property? You are happy to dispute it. So I ran happy. in there with handcuffs. You can go to a judge if you want, okay? So I ran in there with you handcuffs. You can go dispute this if you want. I'm not going to say anything else. So outside, after you turned off my phone... I'm not going to say anything. So after you turned off my phone, I went inside. After you guys arrested me and put me in handcuffs and turned off my phone, I went inside. That's what you're trying to tell, tell me? I, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, it's fine. Up. That's a good thing I started okay. recording. Right. This is what you guys do to people. Right. Criminals. You guys are criminals. You're not any better than thugs. Yeah. I've met thugs with better morals than you. They just arrest. They just left me outside, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna get a complaint for him. Might as well. If they're gonna waste my time, I might as well do what I can. I'm in trouble for trying to pick up my mail. <laughs> oh well. Are you in line? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's going okay. What's up? I just need a police complaint form, I guess. A police complaint form? Like against one of the members? Yeah. Um, so I don't know if we have a form, but I have a web page or something for you. Okay. Uh, let me think about this for a second, okay? Thank you. Another thought I just have right now, I can see if there's a corporal for you to speak to. No, oh, thank you. Hopefully I got paid out. No problem.
The constable kind just gave me a ticket for being on the sidewalk. For what? Being on the sidewalk. I wish it wasn't true. You guys saw it? And so um, I actually don't have something to hand to you, but I did a Google search of how to make a complaint against the RCMP, and uh, it was one of the first like three options that came up. How do I make one against like the Squamish police specifically? Like that's how that's here. how you'll do it. You'll do it through there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's at the point here. Two certain questions, and so once you fill all that out, okay. It will register. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I guess. Um, I guess I'm gonna walk home. Which sucks. <laughs> Bro, this is like kidnapping, man. I swear to God. They're like, oh, we, you were trying to pick up your mail. You're a criminal. Now we're gonna take you away from your house and drop you way off blocks away downtown. It's like, come on, man. You guys are fucking assholes. Let's be real, you guys. Let's just be 100%. What is this bullshit? What I do? Stand outside on the sidewalk and try to get my mail, and they're gonna kidnap me and bring me way away from my house and drop me off to walk home? What, what the fuck? They're gonna lock me up for most of the day, no food, no water, drop me off here, and then not explain any of my charges, and then, and then just make me walk all the way home? Man, these guys are fucking assholes. You think they're here for your safety? Man, I used to think these guys were good here. And you know what? You know what's fucked up? They are good here. This is good. This is what good looks like. This is what good looks like. This is why, bro, we need, we need a private market. We need options. We need to be able to elect. It can't just be departments. It can't just be departments investing in themselves. It can't just be RCMP and police just everywhere investing in themselves doing fuck all. We gotta have choices. You gotta be able, if your city, is not being treated right, you should be able to choose. It should be privatized. You know, it can still be, it can still be regulated. There's nothing against something being regulated and privatized. If there needs to be a middle ground, fine. Fine, we need to have certain regulations. I don't disagree, you know, but it needs to be privatized so we can't be abused and have internal investigations done as a way that like, like somehow, like let's, let's, you're dreaming. You guys are dreaming if you think an internal investigation is gonna help. We're gonna pretend internal investigations are gonna solve anything. We need competition. We need, we need privatization so that we can have them hold each other accountable, just like insurance. This is wrong. <coughs> this is as wrong as, <coughs> This is, this is like, uh, this is a monopoly, you guys. This is the monopoly on violence. And, uh, if it has to be regulated, fine, but there shouldn't be a monopoly because it just leaves us powerless. Now, I, I have to deal with all that, and my power is that I can get a lawyer, I can go to court. We need... We need choices and options and competition. So the competition can hold, they can hold each other accountable. There can't be a monopoly on violence or there will be never be any accountability. There needs to be another department that holds them accountable. We need choices so they can hold each other accountable. Uh, otherwise, historically, it's civil war. Historically, it's riots and civil distress. Historically, people have to arm themselves why don't we just privatize it? Why don't we just give people options so that they could choose their police instead of giving this huge blanket of corruption and internal investigation? It's time we fix it. Uh, 
anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen from this, but uh, I'm just documenting it. I, um, I'm just sick of this shit. And I, uh, I don't know what uh, the right legal course of action to take is, but I'm just sick of this shit and I'm just documenting it for you guys. Um, I think the way we hold them accountable is by giving ourselves options and uh, cutting the monopoly on violence. No one should rule violence. And uh, I, I, uh, I'm not worried about the government having a, I'm not as worried about the government as like, corporations hold that in balance, you guys. There needs to be, uh, they need to be private. Policing needs to be private so they can hold it in balance. So the government doesn't just have a full monopoly and neither can one corporation. It can't be like ICBC either. That's no different. And the same thing with Canada Post. That's exactly what's happening here. It, it can't be like that. That's no different. It, it, it needs to be private. There cannot be any government monopoly programs. It just doesn't make any sense. It, it just, it, it erodes all your freedoms as soon as, as soon as there's an issue, as soon as there's an issue, uh, your powers, you, you've given up all your powers as an individual. Um, it's nice that maybe sometimes you get benefits, but uh, you lose all your power if you just give it up to one other monopoly, uh, you know, one monopoly organization or whatever you want to call it. Um, and, uh, you guys, I'm sick of this shit. I don't think I'm the only one. So, I don't know, leave a comment or something. It sucked ass. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I don't really know what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't really care, honestly. I'm just sick of this shit. I figured I'd do something. Cheers, you guys. See y'all later. Much love.